everybody, I'm Chickamongus, and I'm bringing you another review today of Mirror's Edge. Now, this game is a first-person runner, or first-person parkour, or first-person action-adventure, whatever you want to call it. This game is very innovative. You start off in this game as a runner named Faith, and basically, runners are messengers. They are used by whatever client needs them to deliver information or a message from one point of town to another. The reason runners are needed is because the city that Faith lives in is very closely monitored. It's like a big brother is watching type deal going on there. Everything is red and you can't really send any information without like authorities knowing about it. And with the authorities try to pass it off as being safe and more secure, they're basically trying to control everyone by knowing what they're doing. So Faith and the other runners live on the outsides of society. No one really knows that they're around unless you really need them. But when you need them, you don't really ask them any questions. They really don't exist to society to tell you the truth. The government doesn't bother them. They don't bother the government. It's all good. So it's very weird on your first day on your job when you're doing your regular routes, delivering a package to another runner named Celeste, and all of a sudden you start getting shot at by a bunch of cops, or blues that they're called in the game, and you're getting followed by a helicopter. Now your first mission in the game turns from delivering a package to Celeste to finding a way to escape from these helicopters and these cops that are shooting at you. When you get back to your hideout, you hear over the airwaves that your sister Kate, who is a cop, may be in some trouble on the other side of town. And when you get there, you learn that Kate has been set up to look like she shot one of the guys that is running for mayor. This isn't the time to run. I'm not like you. Running will just make me look guilty. So, I'm not going to tell you any more about the story because it's a short story as it is. I'm going to leave it at that. But your primary objective in the game becomes to find out who framed your sister and why are they trying to kill runners all of a sudden. Faith makes her way through the city with the help of Merc who basically stays in your ear the entire game telling your next objective and where to go to escape. He tells you where to go but he doesn't tell you how to get there. So basically you have to find the most efficient way through the city by running and jumping and speed vaulting and grappling and zip lining your way to safety while being chased by cops and shot at by helicopters. When you start getting better at the game you'll start stringing together a bunch of combos like wall climbing, speed vaulting, jumping, rolling, sliding and these are very important because you can find ways to get to your objective a lot quicker than taking the long route that is basically suggested to you. Throughout the city, lots of pipes that you can jump onto and bars that you can swing onto and, and ledges that you can jump on, off of are marked red. This definitely comes in handy when you're trying to make a quick getaway from the blues. Your defense in this game is definitely running and escaping. But your offense is using your hands and your feet to fight. Now you have to use very good judgment when using Faith's martial arts skills in this game because stopping and fighting slows you down so much and the whole point of the game is keeping your momentum to escape. So I'll use my martial arts skills to stall the blues more than trying to take them all out. So Faith has a move and it's actually one of my most used moves. If you have enough speed going towards an enemy, you can slide and kick him in the balls and take him down. He basically doubles over for a few seconds and it gives you time to get away. This doesn't really work though for women as much as it does for guys. But for the most part, you're fighting guys in the game and it works very well. This game is a first person game. And the first thing you, that pops in your head when you hear first person is Shooter. This game is one of the only games that rewards you for not using a gun. There's an achievement that you can get for going through the entire game without using the weapon. And I think that's awesome. Now, if you do find yourself in a close quarter situation where you feel like you are definitely outnumbered and outarmed, 
Faith can disarm cops and take their weapon and use it on them. Just like fighting, you have to pick your fights wisely in this one. Because when you grab certain guns, they can slow you down dramatically. Now Faith is a regular girl. She doesn't have any superpowers or anything like that. But since she is a professional, quick, agile, acrobatic runner, she has a really good reaction time. Now in this game you can use your reaction time to slow down time for a few seconds. Definitely is a very, very great feature in this game. Because the game is so fast paced and you're speeding through, you sometimes need to take the time to stop and assess your situations a little bit more. Now when you do stop time, this gives you a greater sense of when to disarm your enemies. It also gives you a greater sense of timing your jumps. So I would recommend you using this lots in this game. When I first got this game, I kind of thought that I would be running on the top of skyscrapers the entire time. So I was actually pleasantly surprised and excited when the game takes you into lots of different places. Like I was running through subway stations, dodging trains, uh, I was running through malls and apartment buildings and offices, jumping into air vents and storm drains. So that definitely adds lots of variety to the game and I was very excited about those parts. The first person view in this game actually helps you get a better feeling of what parkour is all about. This game brings you in and it actually makes you feel like you are Faith. When you're running really fast, all you can basically see is your hands and feet moving and they get faster and faster and faster and then everything just is flying by you so quickly. It makes you feel like you're actually going that fast. 